Hey guys, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to manage users for WordPress. So the first thing you need to do is to log into the back end of WordPress or the administration side. You can do this by typing in the location of your blog, so your blog.com or whatever the address is for your blog. And then followed by forward slash wp dash login dot php. So that will be your site.com forward slash blog forward slash wp dash login dot php if that's the location for your blog. Or if your blog's located at your blog.com or whatever, it'd just be your blog.com forward slash wp dash login dot php, which should show this page. So from here, just type in your username and password for your administration details. So once you log in, you'll be on your dashboard for the administration side of WordPress. Now, what we need to do is come down to users here and just click this drop down. You can directly click that, but if you click the drop down, it brings up more options. Now, if you wanted to add a new user, you can click add new user. If you wanted to manage already users or remove a user or anything like that, just go users here and it'll display the current users. And you can also look at your own profile to edit your details in that. But for the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to add a new user. So I'm going to click that. Now you'll see the add new user form you need to fill out. You'll see you need it's required to enter a username, email, and password. So username, new user, or the name of the user, the email account. Okay, I just made that email up, so it's probably not going to work with that one, but just enter the email address for the new user. You can Here you can enter their name if you want to and their site, but you don't need to. But I'm just going to enter some dummy details anyway, or some sample ones. Okay, so you can just enter the basic details like that. Now the password, you need to enter their password. They can change this password later if you're making the account for them and going to give them the details. So you can just do a temporary password here or a proper password, depending on how you want to do it. Now you can see you need to enter it twice. Um, so enter the password twice. And try to make sure this password strength indicator here says strong, but that'll indicate how strong your password is. And once you've done that, you can click send password. So this will email them their password if you want to do it like that. Or you can just tell them the password or however you want to do it. Um, the role, you have to choose what they're going to be. Are they a subscriber? Do you want to give them administration privileges, editor, author, whichever. So I'm going to add a new administrator because I want someone else to be able to access the administration side. And you just click add new user. And this will create this user. And you can confirm this because after you click create new user, it redirects you to the users in here. And you'll see new users here, name, Bob Smith, their email and their role, administration or administrator. So you can add new users if you need them. You can add as many as you want. And let's say you added someone, but you stuffed up their details or you got the email wrong, the name wrong or something. You can click edit here. And this will just take you into the editing part for this new user. So you can just change basic visual details and stuff there, but here are the details that you entered to create the user. So if you got the name wrong, you can change it here, change the nickname or the username, or you can't change the username, sorry, that's just the nickname. You can change the contact information, add in more details. So that lets you edit users. So now if we click here again to go back to users, let's say we wanted to get rid of this person or get rid of someone, find the person you want to get rid of. Now you can either just click delete on them or if there's multiple ones, you can tick the boxes for all of them and bulk action, delete. You can click apply and that'll delete anyone you've got selected. For this example, I'm just going to click this delete button here. So when you delete the user, you've got the option to delete all their posts and links. Or you can change all their posts and links to like, if they had posts and links and that and it was under their name, you can change it so that it's now going to be under the admin name or a different user. You can choose here if you've got multiple users. 
I'm just going to delete all their posts and links, say they're a little spammer or something. I can just confirm deletion and that'll remove them from the user database and all their links and posts they've made. So that's pretty much all there is to editing and adding new users. And just to have a quick look at editing your own profile here. So you click your profile to get to this. And you can see it's basically the same thing as editing any user. It's just, you can change admin color scheme, enable keyboard shortcuts for comment moderation, just basic details like everyone else. Just the basic details. So that's pretty much all there is to managing users. It's very easy and straightforward. So that's all there is to this video.